Hi everyone, my name is Minna and I'm the founder of Energize Your Voice. As some of you know, I started out as an actress. I went to NYU to School of the Arts and trained with the Atlantic Theatre Company and then I went on to gain my master's degree in performance from Brooklyn College where I studied uh, a very parallel program to what I studied at NYU. The foundation of the principles that I learned there uh, were all about coming back to a space of neutral. So creating a blank slate through which to then develop a character. So if we think about acting, we don't just jump on stage and become the character, right? We don't just really leap in without understanding where we're coming from first. What is that baseline? And this happened, for example, in speech. I had to get rid of my accent. I had to neutralize my accent. It happened in voice. I had to neutralize my body through which a full dynamic vocal range could flow and I was available to movement and expression. I had to neutralize my understanding and bias perception of my world and surroundings and relationships in order to step more deeply into character in pursuit of that objective determined by the playwright. So we transfer all of those principles now into professional development and we need to consider for a moment what does it mean to be confident? Well, I would argue that it's the exact same series of behavior changes that are required to become an excellent Oscar winning actor. Coming back to a place of neutrality. Coming back to a place where you feel powerful in your simplicity. So. I want to walk you through one simple exercise to get you started exploring the notion of confidence. And this is all about embracing stillness. Now it's important to understand the distinction here, stillness versus stiffness. Both imply without movement. However, stiffness implies a resistance to movement. There is inherent tension involved in that word frozen, right? I'm stiff. I'm immovable. Whereas stillness implies an availability to movement, an availability to expression, reaction, and impulse. So we're gonna shoot for exploring stillness. That means without movement, but available to movement. We can also think about this as effortless activation. So right now I'm standing, that means I'm active but I wanna think about it being effortless. So I'm gonna invite you to stand with me. And I wanna think about my hips being hip, or my feet being hip width apart. So think about where your leg creases. That's how far apart you want your feet. And then for your feet, you want all four corners of your foot firmly planted on the ground. And then I'm gonna walk you through a full body check-in. All the while, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and breathe through the mouth. This is very important. If it's challenging for you to continue to breathe through the mouth, and I'll continue to remind you, put your tongue on your lower lip. Hands down at the side, feet nice, firmly planted, but again, available to movement. And we're simply gonna stand here thinking about your feet grounding through the floor. And then softening the knees. So watch out for hyperextending them. Softening the thighs. So really allowing those big, huge muscles to just melt away and then feeling like there's space in the hips. You can even move them around a little bit if you want. And then we're gonna really release our belly here. So this beautiful abdominal wall, we're just gonna uh, let it go. Oh man, it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna feel great. And then I'm gonna bring my attention into my back body. I'm gonna release my glutes. I'm gonna bring breath into my lower back, equally thinking about bringing the breath into the belly and the lower back. Really feeling open and, and available now. Releasing through that chest, releasing in the shoulders, releasing in the armpits. So watch for this, really releasing. Try not to fix anything. So as I walk you through, mind doing all this extra stuff, we're not trying to move into stillness, we're allowing stillness into the body. Releasing the hands, your shoulder blades are gonna fall down your back. Your neck muscles are gonna simply release. You're gonna feel nice release along the throat. The tongue 
nice and soft. And then release that forehead and release that jaw. And simply breathing in through the mouth, we want to breathe in all the way down into the belly. And breathe out. And allow that cycle to continue, the inhale, exhale cycle. Notice as you inhale, if you're wanting to lift your shoulders and simply redirect down into the belly. So again, thinking about that three-dimensional breathing as opposed to, which is a shallow breath. Nice deep breathing. Simply try that for two weeks. Do that every day for two weeks. You will feel more present, aligned, and available to movement. So that level of character building or confidence building will be available to you. Let me know how it